There are many who walk about thinking they are following after me. They speak my name, pray in my name, and they say they love me. But what decides this to be true is that I truly am Lord of their life. Those who are true followers of me do not think of their own life at all. They look to the son of my love, to his life. These ones will seek me in all that they do, for they understand that there is no other option, that I must have all of them, for them to rightly follow after me. It is a walk where in this world they will be in continual battle with the greatest enemy, and that is self, which is rooted in the flesh, where the devil has power and has no part in the spirit where I am found. In this great battle that they have daily, they are continually aware and give to me all that they can so they may take and receive me to take me. They must let go of self. Those who are mine follow after the pattern of emptying to be filled, yet there are those who attempt to get to me through and by other means, and that is to continue to live as they wish, adding to the self, which always quenches the spirit. They do not follow after the conviction that my spirit gives, but instead by their feelings and own understanding. They are the ones who do not trust in the scriptures as being fully true to be their guide and revelation of my heart. Instead, the scriptures are used by them like a product and not received as the wellspring of life. Where in truth, scripture is food I give for the growth, edification and insight of life in the spirit of the living God. This one's an accuser's. They have a motive that is selfish, for they will come to me once in a while, and almost never when things are going well, and will cling to me when they experience hard times, and will look to me to fix their problems. What they need to do is give to me themselves, so I may deliver them from what binds them, and this involves giving up and surrender. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Nay, in the hard times they face, they do not ask me to do with them as I please, so that I would accomplish my perfect will. Instead, they enlist others to pray for their victory, or that they would overcome their particular difficulty, as if the problem is the problem. They are acting out of self and do not have the understanding that it is I that has caused or allowed the problem in the first place so that I might get their attention, then their devotion. It is for their own good, but because they look at it through the eyes of their own understanding, they miss the opportunity I have presented to them so they may enter my rest. Like those in the wilderness who were not able to enter because their hearts were still in Egypt, so too are those who do not seek to go on into the promised land that my son has bought for them.